Hey guys, what is going on? It is time for Weird News. I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start Weird News Wednesdays. I think having Weird News on Wednesday is good. It has a nice ring to it. So let's keep that in mind. From now on, Wednesdays is Weird News. So let's go ahead and get started. So my first story has to do with a woman. She decided to go ahead and get butt injections. So butt injections, what they are is, it's kind of like a pillow for your butt. It makes your butt look bigger or it makes, you know, I don't know, you could probably get smaller. Just a certain shape to it. I'm not like expert on butt implants, okay? Excuse me. But, but, oh gosh, I said it. Anyways, let's not say butt anymore. That's just not, it's not okay. So anyways. She ended up having her arms and or her hands amputated. Uh, I believe it was just her hands uh, after the butt injections went wrong. So whoa, that's one way of you know finding out you shouldn't have got butt injections, bro. In Tokyo, an asexual man and asexual. So you have um, homosexual, heterosexual. There's a few other ones. So this guy isn't attracted to men, he's not attracted to women, he just, no, he's like a plant, I guess. Just consider this guy a plant. But anyways, he he just didn't want to ever have sex or have any genitals. So what this guy ended up doing was cutting off his genitals and hosting a dinner for people who wanted to eat his genitals. So uh, five people paid $250 each to go ahead and uh, get a taste of his meat. <laughs> In Israel, a couple divorced after a woman refused to get rid of 550 cats that she had brought home. The husband complained that there's no way he could work at home, he couldn't eat at home, he couldn't do anything at home. The, my favorite part, he said he couldn't sleep because the cats refused to get off the bed. Cats are really, they're vicious. My cat, oh my god, she used to just steal my bed from me, you know, mid-sleep. It was uncomfortable. You know, and you don't want to mess around with cats. 550 cats? I'd be scared to death. So the woman was like, eh. He, he offered, you know, to stay with her if she got rid of the cats. She's like, eh, I'd rather have the cats. You know, they're cuddly and cute, but you're not. So I want to stay with the cats. Let's get divorced. So, eh, shit happens. Now, this is a bit of a sad story, but stick with me. So in Australia, a livestock truck, um, turned over, flipped over on a cliff, all right? And so it was kind of hanging off the cliff, I guess, and underneath the, uh, the, the fall was a highway. Now, in this livestock truck, there were a bunch of sheep, like hundreds of, hundreds of sheep. It's really hard for me to say the word sheep for some reason. Hundreds of sheep were, were started falling from the truck onto the highway below, and they ended up, uh, I think, totaling three cars. But could you imagine just, you're driving, you're driving along, and then a sheep, maybe five sheep, come falling from the sky onto your car. That's horrifying. That's just, that's really scary. I don't want that to ever happen. Oh my gosh, like a bird can hit my car, all right. But if a sheep starts falling from the sky, I'm scared. Okay, I'm scared. Now here is a cute animal story that also involves the road. It involves love, a romance, and some hardcore cow sexing. No, um, two cow, well two, a bull and a cow were fornicating on the road and they stopped traffic. <laughs> and uh, apparently it was really difficult to get them to stop and the bulls started to become angry. I guess when cops got there, the bull was like pissed off that, you know, like, hey, you're interrupting my thing I got going on here with this heifer, and she's sexy. So, yeah, that was poor cows. Poor cows didn't get to have privacy doing their business. Unless they didn't want privacy, of course. You know, some cows get down. This last Easter, a British boy during an Easter egg hunt found a hand grenade. Oh my gosh. That would be scary. Now, he didn't do anything with the hand grenade. He just looked at it before adults saw it. He had thought it was a rock, apparently. 
But could you imagine if a kid thought that was like a play toy and just pulled the pin and threw it at like, I don't know, grandma? Holy crap, that would be bad. Oh gosh. So yeah, next time you have an Easter egg hunt, just make sure there's, there's nothing like that around. Gosh, that is really weird and scary. But whatever, the, the bom a bomb squad came and took care of everything, so everyone was alright at the Easter egg hunt, but wow, that is horrifying. Oh my god. So, thank you guys for watching Weird News. I am actually at E3 now, and it's, you know, this is future me talking. Well, it's a, it's past me. Like, it's, it's Monday right now. Really, ain't, it's like, no, it's 9.30 a.m., Monday, but when this is uploaded, it's gonna be Wednesday. So it's like, whoa, I'm gonna be in the future. Holy crap! Oh crap, that guy killed me. And I kind of just end the game right here. I don't know, the rest of the game just wasn't fun, so... I mean, I kept going, but there's no use showing it. It was boring and uneventful. So anyways, have a great day, guys. Bye!